Don't be shy, cause I, the life won't bring you down too far. Oscar Bevis for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. That's the end of the second instalment of MTK's fight night. And uh, with Lewis Crocker, he's got the WBO European strap around his waist. Lewis, before um, I come on to talk about the actual fight, when someone wins their first title, you expect relief, you expect celebration. But that seemed like just a big outcry of hard work, dedication. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was, it was good to see. It really was, mate. You know, uh, it means so much to me. It means everything to me. Especially, as I say, like coming out of lockdown and stuff, you know, even getting the fights hard enough. So... To win my first professional title and to be a WWE European and to get a by stoppage as well against an undefeated guy who you know, was good rank and stuff. So, yeah, it means a lot to me and it, it showed at the end of the fight. Yeah, because Louis's no mug. I mean, he's got a win against Freddie Q on his record and he was tough. You were throwing up just a little big shot after big shot. So, obviously, Louis's no mug and that is a good, that's a good, good win. Definitely, mate. Yeah, you know, I heard him in the first round and dropped him and then he came out in the second round and he put it on me and then, you know, we ended up just going toe to toe like the last couple of rounds and it was a good fight, and he definitely get, he was like the, the best opponent that I fought. But I feel like I definitely stepped up the occasion, and you know the better fighters, um, um, they're gonna be better performances and a show tonight. So when you dropped him in the first round, I thought we got the old Lewis Crocker back with the mm -hmm. the knockouts. What was it? That six knockout run that you went on um, mm -hmm. from your debut. But obviously, you would have had a plan for this fight, and it's not a bad thing to drop him early. But does it scupper the plan a bit? Because you don't really. You might want to hurt him, but you, know, you can never plan to drop someone as early as you did. No, I didn't expect it. it you know, they say that the shots that the, the drop people, like, you don't expect them. And I didn't expect that because it just it was just like a flow like a, of motion. And, uh, and when I clipped him and I went down, it was towards the end of the round. I was like, I know I'm two rounds up anyway, no 10 yet. So that's, that's the only thing I had in my head. And I knew I was, I was boxing well and stuff. And then when the, the body shot came, I knew he was really hurt. Uh, and then I, I finished well. And Lee said the right word, spiteful. When there's no one in there and you can hear them landing, yeah. it sounds like it sounds like a gunshot, some of them, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to watch it back, do you know what I mean? I was, I was too focused in there to, to, to listen to anything, to be honest. And it w was a weird experience being in there, but I loved it. So I did. it was weird when no, when no crowd, but it was, it was more intense, I feel like. You know, the, there was no distractions or nothing, and it was really good. So I'm looking forward to, to watching it back and, and listening to the shots. It must make you so hungry for when fans can return. And look, this could be the start of a special journey. You might never get past European level. You might become a unified world champion. But this must make you hungry for when fans come back, you could have some serious, serious nights. For sure. You know, especially back in Bel Belfast, because um, Belfast is such a, a boxing city, a big boxing city. And um, there's so many great opposition, uh, like in other weight classes, um, saying we MTK on from Belfast. So there's got to be big nights in Belfast. And I hope they bring back, you know, hopefully defend this here. And then some big nights. And I heard that everyone supporting you back there is just going absolute nuts tonight. Yeah. Unreal, yeah, definitely. Good. There's a party in my house at the moment. So uh, I would say there's a, there's a few happy people back in my house. <laughs> and there's a lot of it about as well, um, going forward, you're going to want the biggest fights and mm -hmm. it's probably the hottest division domestically. Mm -hmm. um, so as well as the fact you've got the belt, you've got a bit of worth to your name now as well. You're with MTK, you just topped a big card. Mm -hmm. um, people are going to start calling your name, do you think? Definitely. Do you know, I've seen someone put up like a top 15 in Britain with the rankings and stuff. And uh, I looked and I was the youngest person there. And so now I hold the European title. I just headlined my thing, my first first event. You know, I've got a lot of years um, behind me after this here. So I'm just going to take every fight as it comes, get my experience. And as I say, I have another decade in me, at least. And let's get a couple of big wins. Then I retire happily, like what I mean. Uh, yeah, for sure. That's what I'm saying. That's all building experience at this, this stage as well. And 12-0, and um, WBO European champion. I'm happy with that. Well, if you fight like that, apologies in advance for anyone they, they put in front of you in the next decade. Um, <laughs> I'll <yeah>. take it. <laughs> Just see, final words yourself, the journey that you've been on, and like you said, the whole frustration during lockdown mm. and the fact you can just pent that anger up and then get out and win your title. Mm. This is just, I'll take it, it's one of the best nights of your life. If not the best night, mate, you know, it did show what it meant to me at the end, because it really did. Um, I remember just, I was actually watching, there's a documentary on Netflix, the, the Michael Jordan thing. I remember like his mentality was class. I remember just watching, I was like, I need a fight. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And so to, to get that and train so hard for it and then, you know, fighting uh, abroad as well. Like if, this is only the second time I fought outside of Belfast. And so, yeah, everything was class, class experience and great night.